it's your responsibility to make sure that you let people know, let your existing customer know that, hey, we are doing a great job out there. You have to let them know that you're doing a great job out there and you have to make sure that you let them know that, hey, I am open for feedback. And if you're not asking for feedback, then let me know. If you're not asking for feedback, what is the way you will get feedback, right? So you have to ask for feedback. You have to be very open in terms of asking feedback. And you know what? Take it light. Feedback can be good, very good. Feedback can be bad, ugly, and it can be whatever it is. So make sure you ask feedback about it. And also that feedback is not for you as an individual. That feedback is for other team members, other cross-functional teams, and things like that. So the, another, the second thing is preparation. You know, as a team, as an individual, you have to prepare. You have to prepare for the meeting which you're getting in. And people take it very lightly. They, you know, and I strongly believe that if you are coming into a meeting unprepared, then what do you think is going to happen? If you're coming into a meeting unprepared, what is going to happen? Let me know in the comments below. If you are going into a meeting unprepared, what is that you can expect? Not 100%. I would say it's going to be a failure or anything like that. But I would say that it may be less than 100%, right? So what you need to do is prepare. Now prepare, 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 prepare with your team member. And you know what? Go elementary while preparation. Most of the times we in corporates, we have our own titles, we have our own facades, but go elementary while preparation. You can just start preparation. Who will open the call? Somebody is going to open the call. Who is going to talk about this? How are you going to introduce yourself? How are you going to introduce the other people on the thing? So these are the ways you need to make sure that you are doing that. Now see the basic thing of preparation is we, we forget few things. We forget few things. Preparation is all about seeing the future and simulating the future, right? Preparation. So how does an athlete prepare? How does an athlete prepare? Let me know. How does an athlete prepare? An athlete prepares by the repetition of the application of the knowledge what he or she has. They keep repeating, they keep repeating, they keep repeating, they keep repeating. That's how they get better. And if you are not repeating the knowledge what you have, you're not getting into the action, you're not getting the action out of you, then how do you think you're going to benefit from it? How do you think you're going to benefit from it? Yeah, right? So first thing is that prepare for your introduction that, hi, my name is Prashant Singh with two decades of experience in two multinationals and three startups. I have built world-class customer facing teams. So this can be mine. What is your introduction? You can be a sales leader. You can be an accounts leader. You can be an individual contributor. You can be anybody. You can be an engineer. Whoever you are, you have to just make sure you are preparing for the right thing. A lot of people are also struggling to elevate the conversation with the customers. Elevate the conversation. What does that mean? This is some 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 of the people ask me that this is the first time we are we are uh, listening about elevating the conversation. So how do you elevate a conversation with your customer? See, elevating the conversation is all about you talking about things what matter the most on a higher level. So we are, you can talk a conversation with your customer that we are moving ahead in the AI era. Everybody is talking about, so automation, cloud, all those things are old now. Now we're talking about the AI era and how things are shaping up and how you should be also adopting it. Because if you're not adopting it, then you will be missing out on the future thing. So these are few things what I would say that uh, you need to look into that. The third part is also the preparation of getting the team aligned of working together. A lot of times we have conflicts which are unresolved. A unresolved conflict is a time bomb. What is a time bomb? An unresolved conflict inside a team which is working very closely. And if they are remote team members, then it's a bigger bomb. So what you need to do, you make sure that you are resolving every conflict. Go for the evidence, write evidence, have an open conversation, listen more when you're resolving a conflict, listen both sides separately, then get them together, and then you figure out that how you can figure out. See, because an individual is not just working at work, he's also a parent, he's also a daughter or a son, he's also a brother or a sister, whatever it is. So you just have to make sure that you do that thing here and what else can help you out here so happy to answer any questions what you guys have uh, so let me know what kind of questions you have for me in the chat up chat mein bata sakte hain kya questions hai aapke paas can you hear me acha mute and mute ho gaya 